Hey everybody, I have some really cool DIYs for you for Christmas. I can't wait for you to see these because they are really cute. Okay, I got these Christmas trees. I got more than one because I want to do a bunch of them because they're so nice. And they're like $3 at Hobby Lobby. They're made very well. And I think it's definitely worth $3. I'm using that acrylic paint, which is like a forest green. And I'm just gonna pour some of this into my little dish. My throwaway dish, actually. Okay, and then I'm just gonna paint it. I love this color. It looks so pretty with your Christmas decor. It's just such a pretty green. So I'm going to paint the front and the back. And I'm also going to paint the sides because you always have to paint the sides. Otherwise, it does not look finished. This was one of my favorites that I did. My daughter wants me to make her another one for her room. And I did get a couple more just to do something different with them. Like I said, it's a really good buy from Hobby Lobby. And for $3, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm doing two coats. So you may not see my other coat being done. I am using my little heat gun to dry it. And I'm just going back and getting some of the edges. This is just going to be a really like a traditional simple one. I'm using this brown acrylic that I'm going to paint the bottom with and the little tree stub. And this is where I'm just putting on a second coat. I've got this white acrylic. I'm 
just going to brush on it like it's got a little bit of snow on it. So it's sort of like just something really simple. I did go back over it with a little green if I got too much white on it. So you can always go back over to get the exact color that you want on your tree. Sorry, you can't see that. But there's those, I did a couple big white spots, so I'm going back over it with the green. Because I wanted it to look really uniform. And I'm also doing the back of it. So I did the front and the back, and there it is. I'm loving the way it looks. And I'm just gonna put one of my wreaths that I had made. I have another video where I just made little mini wreaths. So whenever I needed one, I could just grab one out of the box and put it on one of my DIYs. I think I made like 13 of them. And that is it. It's simple, it's pretty. My bow's getting ready to fall off. I had to put some more glue on it, I think. Isn't it pretty? It's just very simple. I think it's sort of elegant looking. Just something simple, Christmas tree. Now DIY number two is this gorgeous Santa shopping bag or I guess a gift bag. I have this frame that I got from Goodwill. I'm going to cut out this particular gift bag so that it goes into that frame. You can pull this little tag, it's like a ribbon. It comes right out. You can just push it through the hole and it comes right out. So I'm gonna take the glass from the mirror and I'm just gonna make sure I get the picture that I want. trying to get the Santa and the deer. I have my little cutting tool here. And I'm just going to cut it on my mat that I have. If any of you don't have one of these mat, it's a self healing mat. You can cut on it and it heals itself. They're pretty cool. You can get them at a craft store along with that tool. I guess I didn't cut those edges deep enough. So just make sure you cut it deep enough.
this is a pretty simple project. I had thought about painting the frame, but I really liked it because it made it look a little bit richer. So I am going to put some snow on it. I did Mod Podge and I'm going to put in some snow just to give it a little more sparkle. It's so pretty. By the way, I did take the glass out, so otherwise you couldn't do the snow on it. But look how pretty it is. It turned out so pretty. The snow just makes it pop. It makes it look like a 3D painting. So pretty. Okay, my next DIY. is these cute little boards that you get from Dollar Tree and it's one of my favorite sayings. I actually have a, a blue wooden board that already has this message on it that I've had for years and to see Dollar Tree come out with it it was pretty cool. So I'm taking this ribbon and I'm actually covering just the edge of it where you could see the edge and it overlaps which makes it look like an even bigger frame so it's going to overlap i'm just doing that it's about a quarter of an inch edge and the ribbon is probably an inch so i like the way this turned out too because it makes it look like a bigger frame for it and i'm just using my glue gun I'm just going to glue the ribbon all the way around.
Okay, so I'm going to add some of these little snowflakes that I got from Hobby Lobby. I think these came from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure. Could be Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree. And if kisses were snowflakes, I'd send you a blizzard. Look how cute this turned out. I used a little snowflake ribbon. And I used some little snowflakes that I believe they came from Walmart. Not positive though. But because I don't remember. But look how cute this is. And there's my cute little tree. Love the way this tree turned out. I would love for you if you would hit the subscribe button and the like button and notification bell. Also share it with your family and friends because it really does help my channel. And I really am trying to let it grow. So I would love it if you would do that for me. It would really make my heart happy. And I love that you guys watch me and comment so that we can comment back to you. So please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the like button, the notification bell, and please share with your family and friends. And please make these yourself because they're really easy to make. Thank you for watching. Bye.